Hi, I'm Katie Halcrow with Power Up Prep, and I'm super excited today to take you through some tips and strategies to help you power up your ACT. If this is your first time with us, first, welcome. Second, check out the link below. There, you're going to find the ACT questions and the note sheets that you can do along with these videos. All right, so let's get those materials together and we're gonna be ready to power up. Okay, so we just talked about some general rules for the reading section. So now what I want to do is go back to one of the topics that I mentioned there was that you're gonna go straight to the questions and there are certain order in which you're going to do those questions. The first type of question that you're going to answer are called, or what I call line reference questions. So line reference questions, you probably can guess what's gonna be in a line reference question, right? There's gonna be a line that's mentioned. Like it says line number 71 or something like that. So if there's a line referenced in the question, you're gonna do those questions first because 95% of the time, the answer to the line reference question is going to be either within that one line or sentence that includes that line or the sentence before the sentence after. So in that three sentence context with that line that's being referenced, the answer to your question is going to exist. So when you're doing a line reference question, what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the line being referenced, read that whole sentence, so whole sentence with the line being referenced, then you're also going to read the sentence before and the sentence after. So you're gonna read a minimum of three sentences and that's called contextualizing. So once you contextualize, you're gonna go back to your answer choices and then my guess is that you're going to very easily see what the right answer is to that line reference question because you're looking, like we talked about before, for that exact match. And so you're gonna find something in that three sentence context that matches one of the answer choices that you're going to see. Okay, so that's general for the line reference question. So what you wanna do is read that sentence with the line that's referenced in it, as well as the sentence before and the sentence after, because that's called contextualizing. So you should read a total um, of three sentences minimum. You might read more, for example, if they had a line reference that was the whole paragraph, like if they had the lines that were the whole paragraph, you would wanna read the whole paragraph as well as one sentence before the paragraph and one sentence after. Okay, so that's general line, question, line reference questions. A specific type of line reference question that I want you to be on the lookout for are word meaning questions. So they might give you a word and then they ask like which of these best shows the meaning of that word. Um, and so when you have a word meaning question, you're gonna start the same way. So you're first going to go to the line and contextualize it, but then after you contextualize it, what you're going to do is insert each of those answer choices into the sentence and then read through it and see which one works, which one sounds right, um, because then that's the word, like that's what it means. Um, the one that matches most closely to the definition when it's in the sentence. All right, so line reference questions, make sure you go to the line. So you recognize line question, blah, blah, blah. you recognize line reference, reference questions because they have a line in the question themselves. You go to that line, you read the sentence with that line in it, as well as the sentence before and after to give yourself context. You find an exact match answer, and then you choose your answer choice. Um, and if it's a word meaning question, you sub in those word meanings. The only other thing I wanna mention is if it's a paragraph um, that you're reading for the line reference question, and it says, what is the main idea of this paragraph, you wanna make sure that you're picking something that is not just one specific detail. You wanna make sure that you're picking something that's mentioned throughout the paragraph rather than just one detail within the paragraph. But okay, so that's it. Line reference questions, super easy to find because they have a line that's referenced in them. You're gonna contextualize it and then you're gonna be done. All right, we're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below. We love to hear from you. Also, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of our curriculum or other tips and tricks that can help you power up your ACT.